We're in Microsoft Word 2019. This also works in Office 365. And we're going to do a mail merge from an Excel spreadsheet onto envelopes. So first, let's start with our Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to click on Excel. And then we're going to open up our spreadsheet just so you can see what it looks like before we get started. Here is our list. And it includes their address, their city, their state, their zip, and their phone number. Now, we won't care about the phone number for this one, so it will be ignored. But all the other information will be added onto our envelope. All right, so I'm going to close that. And now we're going to go into Word and go to the Mailings tab. Now, you may want to click on Envelopes, but really that's just for one-off envelopes that you may want to print. We want to do a Mail Merge. So we're going to click on Start Mail Merge, and we're going to choose Envelopes. And here is the list of the envelope sizes. So make sure you choose the right one because if you don't choose the right one on the front end and you need to make a change, then you may see on the back end uh, that the formatting will get all messed up. So measure the envelope size before you go on to this next step. And now we can go to the delivery and return address font. Choose the font and the size that you would like and click OK. I like just the default. It's very clear and it works fine in this case for demonstration purposes. Now we see the positioning of our text. And this is going to be completely ignored. So let's just click OK and move past it. We do not need to make any changes there. So now what happens is it puts in some fake information, which I'm just going to replace with my name, although it is still a fake address. And now we're going to put in a fake delivery address. So I need to put it right where I want it on my envelope. So I've got it. Yep, that looks really good. So I'm going to put in, and I'm going to put in the address. Next thing we want to do is to select the recipient. So now we need to pull from our Excel spreadsheet I showed you earlier. So we're going to click on Select Recipients and use an existing list. We also have the option to choose from Outlook Contacts, and I showed that in another video, so check that out in the list if you're using Outlook Contacts instead. And you can also choose to create a new list if you like, but we're going to choose an Excel spreadsheet. Now, this also works from Microsoft Word. If you inserted a table that looks like an Excel spreadsheet, this will work from that as well. So we'll click on Documents and click on the Excel spreadsheet I showed you earlier. And now we're going to get a new box that will pop up. And it shows my sheet one, which is the only place I have my contacts. Click OK. Now we see our list of five recipients. And everything looks good. We see that the last name lines up, the first name lines up. And we see our source for our data. Everything looks great. So if we want to, we can also sort by alphabetical. We can filter. Finding duplicates can really save you a lot of envelopes because if you have hundreds or thousands of contacts, a lot of times you're going to see duplicates in there and that'll waste a bunch of envelopes. So this gives you the ability to deselect any duplicates. We can also find recipients and validate addresses. So I'll click OK. Everything is good. Now the next thing we want to do is go to where it says Insert Merge Field. So if I go to John, for instance, and highlight it using my left mouse click, I drag over it, I let go, I go up to Insert Merge Field and choose First. I'll do the same thing with the last and then the address. And I'll choose the city. Make sure on the state you select the period as well. If not, you'll have to delete it later, which is no big deal. And then the zip code. All right, great. So next thing we can do is click on Preview Results. And look at that. It fills in everything exactly where we want it. And we can go up to the top and scroll through all of our different recipients just to make sure everything looks OK. And we can go back to the beginning by clicking on the far left one. Now all we have to do is click on Finish and Merge, and I like to choose the Edit Individual Documents instead of Print Documents option because clicking on Print Documents will just take you right to the printer and it'll print it. But if I click on Edit Individual Documents, then it will give me the ability to go in, click Print, 
and then I can make additional changes, such as I may want to change my printer. Uh, I may want to uh, change the collation or other information that you see here. And when I'm ready, I just click print and it'll print out all of my different recipients and my return address on all of my envelopes. And that's how we do mail merge in Microsoft Word 2019 using Excel.